Welcome back to another VFX tutorial and today we're gonna do the cheap man's day and night cycle not because it's a bad quality because this is a very very simple and easy setup in Game Maker Studio and of course for all the other engines should be kind of same-ish so if you're using uh, Godot or Unity or whatever I guess you can create uh, similar things so this is based on let me open this up. I just was looking for some interesting stuff and he just used gradients as backgrounds and then boom. Uh, well, I kind of uh, changed uh, the approach or took this over and refined it to uh, my likings. Alrighty, so if you are curious how to get this started, stick around. This is one up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing. So let's get rid of this stuff and a quick explanation how that works. It is kind of easy. I'm having just two background layers and the great thing about Game Maker Studios, if you have a background layer, then you can tell it to stretch it. And this is basically what it's doing. It's just stretching it to the whole screen. No, no, no. And then we are having two overlapping ones and the overlapping one um, gets his alpha value just reduced from time to time to time and even more and more until it is completely transparent and then what I do I get rid of this one and then I replace the first layer uh, with the second one and then we get on the second layer of the background layer a new kind of gradient set as a sprite and then I just repeat it through I don't know how many things you want to have for example if you want to have it really granular I did it through uh, well, 12 kind of cycles or you can do that through four we're gonna do it through the first four so uh, it looks less kind of neat but it is more let's say the switch uh, is kind of easier to check out so easy peasy basically two layers stretching that thing and then changing the alpha and then of course we need a variable which is just running through the day so we can distinguish okay are we in hour two hour three hour four hour blah 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 because depending how many in quotation cycles we're having we are using four cycles because we are having four uh, well, backgrounds let's show these dudes come on this background or for example this background and then we're just cycling through those uh, here and that means 24 hours divided by four so basically every six hours we are changing the sprite this is basically it so let's get right into the good stuff and uh, let's get kick this dude out and we're gonna make it the easy way first of all we need to apply um, and create a background layer so for that just i don't know assign it to whatever for example i have i have four uh, backgrounds so basically a morning day so this is the brightest part then eve and then night which is the darkest one i'm not going to show you the moon or the well the sun rotation because this is kind of fake because this does <laughs> it's not correctly how it's supposed to be but still it's a cheap man's way how to do this so let's get rid of here and here we don't need to do a lot of things besides um, just first of all creating our cycle for that we need a few things the first thing which we need is a few variables for that we just need minutes and hours because days are not important for us so after 24 uh, after 23 hours we just switch to our zero and boom we repeat the cycle so what do we do we just say like sweet let's update this value by i don't know you could go with a hard value but i think it makes definitely more sense to have a variable and this one i will call increase rate and this one is defining how fast the day is kind of going through so here depending how high or low you set it up boom um, the day and night cycle will uh, go faster or slower so we just use this variable and we have just now for a variable which is just increasing and then we're having a few if statements just checking like hey have we passed uh, more than 60 minutes then one hour is over so this is for example what we do we just say like okay have we more than 60 minutes then one hour and then we update one hour and then for example we can do the same for the hours so we are updating our hours also so if we are past 23 hours plus one then we just start with zero and this is how we define our cycle hopefully that isn't uh, groundbreaking because <laughs> this should be basic knowledge 
uh, whatsoever. Alrighty, so let's come to the more interesting part, how we set up the rest. So to manipulate your background layers, you need to grab them. Um, for example, one thing uh, how to get it is, I don't know, for example, you just say layer get ID and just F to it and then you can open it up. So basically what I'm going to do here, just copy paste uh, because this is uh, advanced. So basically we just say like, hey, but let's grab this layer for background one. This is this one. This is one where we are reducing the alpha from starting a value of one to zero. And this is, well, this one, the second one, as you can see, um, this one is already in the kind of the second phase where we want to get it. So that's the whole idea behind it. Therefore, we need, first of all, to grab them. Why do we want to do this? Because first of all, we want to uh, adapt the alpha for that we just say layer so if you don't know about the layer uh, background let's go and then it is i guess alpha yeah alpha here we go and for that we need to give it some input values which is first of all hey we need the layer so this is our this one so this is we are we need to grab definitely the specific id of this dude here and then we need to input an alpha value and this alpha, I don't know, how can we call it? We just call it, because here we are. So let's say alpha one. Why I call that? Because it is the alpha one for the background one. And at the very beginning, well, nothing has changed. And here we are just uh, grabbing the, the, the layer and then say like, hey, on this layer, give me a specific alpha value. And this is just basically it. But how can we... Uh, well, update this kind of thing. A few things which are needed in our create event. So here, background layer control besides having our alpha value. First of all, we need a value which is called the alpha time total. Or you can call it whatever you like. So this is just saying like, hey, how long is our day? So this is, or how long is one cycle? And after one cycle, we are switching swapping our background sprites to the specific layer so we just say like hey every six hours times 60 minutes we are having a reset so this number is kind of important because now we can create a relative value which is called alpha decrease you can actually copy and paste them in here and maybe you already know what i'm trying to do so here we just say like hey decrease our alpha but this specific value and this specific value is defined by maybe you know dun, 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 our increase time so this is relative to uh, how fast we are doing our day and then of course the total amount and this is how we get a relative decrease value so for example later on if you say like mm, i want to increase or decrease the change then boom you would need to uh, well update this kind of uh, the alpha decrease value and then this always stays relative and always stays correctly because here we are getting a value between well, zero to one which we want and so at the very beginning it will be then one and then of course hey we're getting what we want so for now we could actually run this code but then for example what's actually happening now besides let's put that thing our day and night cheap way inside the room but for now for example now we would see one thing that the alpha value is getting decreased hopefully it doesn't crash now no it doesn't and as you can see, it decreased, decreased, decreased. And at some point, we just go into minus values. First of all, we don't want minus values. Second of all, they don't exist for layers. So after we are going minus, nothing is happening. The first uh, background layer, so this dude here, is basically gone. And now we only have our second background layer, which is, well, displaying our background. So, so far, so good. So here we need to do, of course, this is not mandatory, but I think clamping this value is not a bad idea so we just say hey clamp between ourselves between a value of zero on tooltip between well zero 
and one and therefore we don't run out but for now we haven't actually changed anything so where do we um, adapt our kind of swapping of layers because this is where we do it and here we just do it after let's say uh, we updated our hours we just say that hmm okay have we well uh, gone to a specific hour so let's say for example are we in hour six and if yes we just say like hey layer background sprite and here once again we need to input hey what kind of sprite do we want to input here so here our background id of the first one and then what kind of sprite and then for example let's say uh, um, morning and day are the first one so let's say uh, we are in our zero actually then we say like hey we are in morning and day so here and for our second layer and then for example we are in day and then for example we can do the same stuff multiple times so let's go and actually copy paste that so we don't it like this of course we can actually put this one on top we say like first of all hey reset our alpha to once one again because we sw are swapping uh, the sprite for this one and for this one so we're just basically going one uh, ladder kind of down and then we just have to restore the alpha which is one at some point let's say zero and therefore this is what we do and this is basically the whole code so once again we are updating the time, just saying like, hey, have we uh, finished one hour? Sweet, is the specific hour at a specific cycle point? So for example, we have just four cycles. So 0, 6, 12, and 18 are our kind of breaking points we are where we are swapping our background one and two sprites. As you can see here, we have night and morning, then morning and day, day and eve, eve and night. We just basically just going from one to the other one and then this is how we cycle so let's check it out and as you can see this is pretty much it so we are here breaking point let's say six as you can see boom we swapped and then breaking point 12 boom and then as you can see we kind of have a nice um, going from one thing to the other thing even though if you, for example, consider that this and this sprite are not very similar in colors of, for example, this one, then uh, the faster you go, the well, the more it will just look a little bit awkward. But for example, if you have, let's say, a little bit more gradients, then hey, this is how it goes. So basically, this is the whole magic, basically uh, swapping out two sprites. And if you don't know where to get them, so this is additional content, just uh, type in pixel art. And then what I basically did, I just took uh, a few of the colors which I needed. No, not you, come on. And then I just created, let's say, let's say here, 12. And then I just have a gradient. So if you don't know how, for example, that works in, in for example, what is that? Infinity Photo, because I actually like it. Then you have some effects, go on the gradients. And then you just say like, hey, what kind of direction? And then I input the two colors which I wanted and boom. We are overlaying and then this is how i created i don't know in 10 15 minutes all my gradients so this is basically it this is the whole stuff already that was it from my side hopefully you enjoyed it and now you know how to do the cheap man's day and night cycle bye bye